On inside, let's check everything out. Here. Warning shot targeting that fella right there. I need an ace. I missed. Charge. Charge, it was in the marble. Okay. There we go. One bit. You haven't made the objects. I was like, yeah, you want to pick it. Alright, well, at least something worked out. Hey! At least it wasn't as crushing as last time. No. No, it was Where not. Where I was gone second turn. Yeah. yeah. Spider-Man is just like, no, no, don't hit me. Fat uh, uh, get rug. One, two, three. <laughs> hey everybody, we're back from Jackson Queen. We just uh, played Civil War Month 2. Uh, and we also changed. I changed. Yes. You changed. I changed. We changed clothes. Not in front of each other. It wasn't weird. <laughs> anyway, uh, we just got back. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, the guys out there are always great. So we just thought we'd talk a little bit about how the tournament went, show you some of the stuff we got from the snake draft, and uh, point out some things that happened that were really cool. Yeah. So uh, and uh, also, I'd like to give a shout out to the uh, the two guys that we played with. We played together in a in a pod with Andrew and Brandon. Brandon. Yes, they were very cool guys. We enjoyed playing with you guys, and we hope to play with you again soon. So, uh, what'd, what'd you get, man? What'd you get? I got some great stuff. I'm, I'm a big Thunderbolts fan, for anybody that doesn't know. Um, so I actually, I was able to get an Atlas, and they did a great job on the, the like really big sculpts this time around. Like, they just, they look awesome. So I got Atlas. Uh, I was also able to get a Bullseye. Um, see what else did I get I got a jack o lantern we talked about him once before so let's just pop these out real quick bullseye's a great piece he's got some new things going for him got a doc Samson he's not a thunderbolt and he's not much of anything we pulled <laughs> another spider-man this time around speed freak if you haven't played the organized play speed freak is like a weird anomaly he's He's like the old Nightcrawler because he's got this like coil thing and can bring people back. He's got a short dial, but like, like really for the 70 points, it's, it's he's he's awful. He's got hypersonic speed and all sorts of messy stuff going on. I also got a Luke Cage. Um, I mentioned I got the Jack Lantern, so let's get him out. Jack O' Lantern. He's a Thunderbolt. Got Tiger. Tiger, awesome. Can't say anything bad about Tiger. She was really, really good. She's like 80 points. She's got enhanced super senses. She's got charge, um, blades. What else she got going on? She's just, she's great. Oh, she's got 18 defense and empower. Um, and then I got cold blood. So cold blood, I don't know. If you're, if you're interested in a character for its scalp, don't go for cold blood. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you know, he's not so bad, I guess. And then, I also got stature. So I got a couple of giant people. I got some thunderbolts I wanted. Uh, I got some generally cool characters. I'm really happy with Monk 2. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually, uh, I, I was the one who pulled the stature because uh, of the snake draft. Ian got to choose first, so he got the really cool giant figure. Not that I'm not... Well, I'm jealous, but... You're, are you jealous? I'm uh, a little bit jealous, but that's cool. It was a snake draft. It was fair. I, well, I got to be decimated. Like, check it out. You can kind of make them hold hands. They're two giant people. Yeah. They're friends. That's cool. They go together. Um, they do. I, uh, I got the Falcon I was looking for last time that I didn't get to uh, take because of the snake draft. So I was really happy to get my Falcon. Such a great um, scope. It, it is a great scope. And he's a, it's a great figure. I really, really like his uh, charge knockback and automatic breakaway abilities. <laughs> like, that was cool. Really like that. Uh, I got a Hulkling to go along with my Wiccan. That's cool. There you go. That's they'll cool. Be very they'll happy they'll together. be very happy together. Very happy together. And look, he's, he's all ready for happiness. <laughs> um, 
So uh, I in for the hug. I I took uh, one of the pieces that Ian was fielding, uh, the Mach Four. Yeah, um, one of my Thunderbolts buddies. Yeah. So um, I kind of grabbed him because there wasn't really much. And you kind of did it for spite. I know it. Not not Admitted. much for spite. It was it was because like there was like six Doc Samsons left, and yeah. I've got so many Doc Samsons now. I think I got another two. <laughs> yeah, Doc Samson's not my favorite. Doc Samson is like, he's like Tribbles from Star Trek. He just keeps multiplying like crazy. Um, I also, I, I got Plunderer, which um, had, it was a surprise um, choice by um, Andrew. Andrew, yeah. yeah. Like, he, he, he won our first round, and his first pick was Plunderer. And we thought it was a little strange. But Clover is actually a pretty good piece. I, like I was playing with him, uh, he, he was pretty good. He didn't win me any games, but he, he was kind of cool, and he was the piece that lasted the longest for me. And his name is Plunderer, and has a vibe gun. Yeah, and <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yep. And uh, also, he's Kazar's brother. Oh, there you go. Which we found out. He's like he's got like the Savage Land stuff. Um, and and uh, another couple of notable pieces. I got Jester. Uh, he just looks cool. Jester's cool. He gets to put he, like little tokens, yeah, like Jack in the Box guys, little toys around. Um, he was used very well by um, I can't remember if it was Andrew or Brandon, but one of them used it really well. He lasted a long time, did lots of damage, and uh, I got to use Battlestar, which uh, he, he seemed good. He seemed okay. He's got a uh, he was clearly designed in the 70s with yeah. a giant collar on him and his weird glasses. Yeah, and uh, you know another kind of Captain America ripoff guy, but. He, he did turn out to be a, kind of a good piece. I got a lot of good hits in with him. Uh, everybody else we've kind of seen before that I've pulled. Um, I'd like to kind of mention that it, it isn't a gigantic set. No. So between me and Ian, uh, after month two, we, we have pulled most of the pieces, I think. Yeah, it's pretty much just the super rares at this point that yeah. we're missing. Yeah. Um, um, there's another Goliath out there that we haven't talked about. There's a Venom. Um, but beyond yeah. that, yeah, it's not a huge set. Of course, mm -hmm. it's only four months. Yeah, only four um, months, so two two more months to go. So I think I'm hoping to round out yeah. my set at least, and you know your set too. Uh, now, uh, one thing I, I didn't, I wasn't successful with in month one was finishing my bounties, completing my bounties. I just got, I got awful bounties. It was always for uh, wasp or vision, and each game I played, I wasn't, I wasn't getting them. No one, no one pulled them as characters. So. Uh, that kind of sucked. But this time, I got the vision card again, and Ian happened to have a vision. Of course. So I, that, that's why I went, no, I I went for me, you yeah. so hard. <laughs> like, you know, I was like, I need this bounty. Because the bounty prize was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Gravity Feet. And how exciting and awesome. That was pretty cool. I actually so, collected a bounty as well. Yes, you did. And uh, so I collected a bounty. I pulled a Mauser. Uh, which is kind of cool, but one of the guys at the tournament wanted the Mauser, so I traded him off for Casey Jones. Casey Jones seems really cool. Yeah. He's one of my favorite characters in the cartoon anyway, mm -hmm. so easy trade, but... Yep. Uh, my pull was Leonardo, and he was actually a... Uh, he's a super rare. Oh, there you and go. He's, he's pretty darn good. Uh, he's an interesting sculpt. I, I think he's from the, uh, let's see, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles animated series from 2012, so that CGI one where they look kind of funny and stuff. So, like, the sculpt's still kind of cool. It's not the classic one I want, but he's got some really awesome. He's got blaze claws, fangs, sidestep, charge. Um, he's got twin katanas, so Leonardo can use blaze claws, fangs, and when he makes a close attack, he can use probability control. I bet. So that's pretty cool. Uh, analyze and counter fighting styles. Leonardo can use super senses and toughness, combat reflexes, and then he's got leader of the turtles. Leonardo can use leadership when he does and succeeds. He may instead remove an action token from each adjacent friendly character with the TMNT keyword. That's pretty good. So if you know everyone's adjacent, you're just removing tokens everywhere. The turtles in general are good pieces. They all have fairly decent combat values. Their point values are low. Uh, I was talking to a guy at the tournament actually about putting Proteus on them and running them in like kind of a, like a meta team because it would mm -hmm. probably work out fairly well. Um, if you haven't got turn uh, the TMNT pieces, I go grab a couple because they're if nothing else. Yeah, they're, they're cool. Lot of fun. And then, yeah, and this piece is also 60 points. 60 so points. Pretty good for 60 points. Yeah. And he's got six clicks of health. There you go. 60 so. points, six clicks of health, 11 attack. Yeah. Mm hmm. Pretty good. So that was month two. Uh, still having a lot of fun. Still playing it at Jackson Queen because that's the place to play. And uh, yeah, so next month we will also be there. Yep, month I believe. Three. Unless we're 
in the hospital. Well, for, you know, shenanigans. I don't know. Gurneys have wheels on them. Somebody will wheel me down there. That's right. Someone will wheel us down there. So if you guys want to come out and uh, have a game with us, uh, hopefully we can play in the same pod together, and we'll see you on Civil War Month 3. All right. And uh, subscribe. Bye. Bye.